episode four of the 2022 Scuffle for the Shovel. We are uh, at Concord, North Carolina, just outside of Charlotte for the 1v1 tournament that's become a staple of the East Coast Coop scene. Uh, this is also uh, round number one of the Atlantic Coop Tour, the inaugural Atlantic Coop Tour. Um, we've got semi-final action today. We are down to the final four. We're going to have the first semi-match today. That's going to be Drew Gander against Bob Hykus. And then the next semi-final is going to be next week, followed by the finals. Um, B-team commentating as usual, or not as usual, for this tournament as usual. I'm Stu Gander. We've got the swing and speed, swing and sweet Sven Hykus with us. Sven, how you doing today? Still doing pretty good. Yeah, we got... Uh matchup of our last two scuffle champions here in the semifinals so this should be good oh, to go yeah yeah this ought to be a beauty these uh both these guys playing pretty well today um we also a little birdie tells me we might also have a special guest today Uh-oh. if we play our cards right nice. uh so here we go semifinals um we're gonna have that three two matchup there that drew gander versus bob hikus and um, unlike the quarterfinals, which were one game matches, these are now best two out of three matches. So uh, Bob, five and one record on the day. Only defeat um, was in round five to um, Dan Corey and Drew Gander, four, one and one today. Lost to Bob in round four. We'll see if that portends anything. Um, but best two out of three matchup. Uh, we got Bob here close to us. We got Drew far away. Um, this one ought to be a beauty. Who you picking? Who you got? Who you got, Spen? Oh, I know who you're picking because you hate Drew. Um, yeah, he's a jerk. You know, we saw we saw their round four matchup. I thought it was uh, well played. Uh, it, it went to time. Bob had that good turn to finish it with all those king misses. That. Uh, I, I gotta I gotta lean on Bob on this one, but you know the last two champions. Uh, this is this is one I could have seen happen in the final, but uh, the way the bracket worked out, we're seeing the semifinal, so uh, it should be a good match. Yeah, I agree. I think I said in the uh, in their round four matchup, I said I think Bob probably wins this match sixty to sixty five percent of the time, or that game sixty to sixty five percent of the time. It's hard for me to say that and then pick Drew in this one. And plus, I don't like him, so I'm picking Bob. But uh, I'm at least rooting for Bob. It's also best of three now. I mean, that's a little yeah. bit of a different ball game. I mean, to 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 win, you gotta you know, obviously you gotta win two. So you know, if your your current your your previous analysis does usually, I would expect you to lean a little bit on the the side of Bob. But um, we'll see. Yep, at least you at least Drew started one or two. That was a good start. Yeah. And. Uh, Let's see what Bob can do with three batons, see if he can get a, a meatloaf early here. Always good to go one for two to start out with, put a little pressure. Actually, it's better to go two for two to start out with, but, you know, mm-hmm. can't have everything. He's, hunt, he's hunting for a loaf here, Stu. Yeah, I can smell it in the air. It's wafting. Let's see if he's cooking up a sweet, fat some meatloaf. Sweet, <laughs> some sweet loaf. Maybe he's Give cooking some, some turkey. That would be nice, too, but... Sweet loaf would be. Oh, he locked it up. Oh, oh. Locked up the loaf. He's got his arms around it, and it's oozing grease. <laughs> Some sweet ketchup. Oh yeah. Bob prefers Heinz fifty-seven. Oh, no, no turkey. Oh, look at the loaf. Ah, he looks like Terminator. <laughs> he does. So, um, my intuition earlier was correct. Uh, we do have a special guest with us. Come over here. Sit down next to me. C- sit here in the <laughs> commentating booth. Yeah. Yeah. Any Anything bring, you want to eat, drink, it's all you. Bring it in for the real thing. Yeah. Um, uh, he is the uh, he is one of the OGs of North Carolina Coop. Um, he is one of my favorite players to watch in the state of North Carolina. Um, it's Magic Mike. Mike Davids. Mike Davids, how are you doing? Hey, good guys. Thanks for having us in. Yeah, uh, nope. you know, thanks for coming out and and uh, and commentating this tournament for us. Uh, it's it's one of our favorites for sure. Yeah, this has become. Um, I had said in uh, one of the previous episodes that we did um, that this one has really become one of my favorite tournaments over the last few years. Uh, look forward to it every year. Get some early season coup in, um, and it's one v one. So what you got? What you got? So, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, That's right. Something, something else I was going to say, but now I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Mike David's uh, tournament director um, got a good turnout this year. I uh, got to be pretty happy with that. Yep. Yeah. We have ten players uh, in from uh, three states this year. It's pretty good. Um, you know, we're, we're still growing, but this is definitely one of our favorite tournaments of the year, just because of the low key, how, how low key it is, and uh, you know, back to pen and paper on some stuff. So, so how we have we just come out and have a lot of fun here. Oh, oh. got robbed on that one. Yeah, he nudged it, yeah. nudged it a bit. He was looking for the Sven loaf. Now he can't <laughs> get it. Now he's <laughs> now he's gonna get one maybe. Yeah, graphics department should have put up a big picture of a uh, Sven from from wondering. Frozen when he get a Sven loaf. <laughs> Is he a reindeer? I think he's a reindeer. Well, we don't have to worry <laughs> about anything because he only hit one. Yeah, true. Anyway, all right, turn two. So, Mike, you're going to be in the. Uh, you're taking a break uh, for this this round, getting ready for your yep. semifinal match, um, which is going to be our next episode. You're facing Dan Corey. Um, so, how yep. you been? How have you been playing today? Let's get let's get that out of the way. How's your um, game coming I mean, along? Just- it's been a grind all day for me, <laughs> um, you know, up and down. Um, you know, there's, there's some good competition out here today, uh, which is which is really, really fun. Um, so we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if we can keep building and, uh, you know, just kind of see where I play Dan Corey, I think. Yeah. So we'll just kind of see how, how, how he, he's holding up. He's been hot. He's hot all morning. So have you did we'll you play him earlier in the uh, in any of the preliminary rounds? Uh, I did. I did, and I, I won that early match. So. Oh. I don't think you won I don't that think early you match did. because Dan think was, was undefeated. Now yeah, that four I think four out. and one, I think. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. You're right. The only, the only one everybody, he took a, can dream, right? everybody he took can a dream. tie That's trailing right. to, to Drew. But um, yeah, I mean, we got the last three scuffle champions in the semis. We got two here, and then you're the third. So uh, yep. it's a pretty loaded semifinal, if you if you ask me. Yeah. Dan Bob's Corey, in the red yeah. zone here. Dan Corey's playing in his first scuff. Also, we've got oh nice. Um, yeah. So we've got in the semifinals are the three the three previous three previous champions and Dan Corey, who uh, wasn't playing Coob at last year's. Uh, so he's brand new and already made the semis. Yeah, definitely. He's come a long way in his game over in a short period of time. Agree. Mm-hmm. No doubt about Bob, it. I think Bob's looking for a Sven loaf right here, isn't he? He wants a Sven loaf on this one here. Yeah. Got it. Oh, Sven. So we got meat loaf and a Sven loaf, and Drew still can't count. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> Tried to pick up coos. Oh man, somebody. I get think that Sven guy loaf. Out. Sven loaf is made out of that. Uh, what's it called? Lutefisk or something like that, where you take the fish and pour uh, like lye all over it or something. I have no idea, Stu. I'm, I think. I'm not, I think. I'm not from Norway. Is that a Norwegian thing? Uh, it's a Nordic thing. Huh. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I am. I'm pretty certain that the Sven loaf is made out of lutefisk or lutefisk or something like that. We, we've covered this before. Like, as soon as I hit America and been here long enough, which it's been months now, I've been scouting all these players and teams that I basically, until I go back to Sweden, I forget all the sweet, everything I know. So that's why yeah. I, I come across so clueless every time you ask me questions. But I have no idea what well, you're talking about. <laughs> you got to go. Uh, you, I know. You go to Ikea every once in a while to just kind of smell the air. Just for the meat, meatballs, really. That's really it. Yeah. Yeah. So get in touch with so mike heritage. we were talking uh you know uh sven and i we we travel the country scouting coob um uh, and we were talking one of the previous yeah. episodes about how um coob in north carolina north carolina's come become a bit of a hotbed for coob we've got a couple clubs um there's a decent yeah. core of people who are playing here uh, i think the level of play is going up 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 um yeah and you're kind sure. of you're kind of one of the ogs here well, that, that doesn't mean I'm any better than anybody else. Just mean I've been playing longer, right? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, there's something uh, to that, you know. You're like a founding father of Coop in North Carolina. Yeah. Sure, sure. I mean, I love it, you know. Um, 
This is a cool tournament. Like Lucy Lee back there in a the blue shirt back there throwing his little, his signature crab throw. Yeah. yeah. Um, which is cool. Like me and Lee, Lee and I came up with the concept for this tournament, which is really cool. And it's really just a spoof on, on the Midwest. Cause they're probably buried in like three feet of snow right now. And it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's chilly here for us today, but I mean, it's still a balmy, what? 45 degrees. Yeah. Mike, I mean, yeah. Mike, let's back there in shorts. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Bartlett yeah, wears shorts yeah. every year. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't um, think he owns pants, to be honest with you. <laughs> nice double there by Drew. That was, that was a nice double. Got right through yeah. the blocker. Well done. Yeah, Mike, do I need to remind you that a couple of players need to get out of here early tonight because it's supposed to snow? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, that's that's why we kind of cut back the rounds and started a little bit earlier. So Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are calling for, what, eight, six to eight inches of snow tonight. So Whew. Yeah. Clutch eight by Drew there. He needed it. That was yeah. money, man. Put that on a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to, uh, I yeah, needed to salvage that turn a bit. Yes. Like we've talked about, you pick up an eight. As long as you keep picking up an eight, that's. Uh, All right, you got seven shape. in play. So Bob's a seven with, with one base cube. So he's looking at four or less on the clear on this one to, to be in the red zone. I'm not anticipating that being an issue, just whether or not he can get this in. This will be. Uh, a three-turner if he uh, can close it out here, which is, I guess, Ike Turner's other son. Yes. Three. <laughs> Bob's been drilling like a machine today, um, and it looks like he's been keeping that up on this one. Yes. Actually, this is this match has gone really quick. I was too busy shooting the breeze, and all of a sudden there's seven in play already. So, um, yeah, yeah these, outside of like one or two shots, I have no idea what's happened. These numbers are going to look pretty good especially if he closes this out here with an efficient clear as far as like like you said his his drills have been pretty good all day but this match so far they've been you know he's only had Worley. this is his second real group he had won the first turn but you know he hit four with two on the first one and so right now he's looking to to pile in seven here and see what he can get we just saw him we saw him in the quarterfinals get that seven with one to close out lee so yeah, I'm not sure know. who was more fired up for that. Lee, he, he closed out <laughs> Lee with seven. Lee was just as fired up. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was a good shot. But yeah, we'll see. You know, obviously, I know he's looking for the win at this point. You know, I never want you don't want to let somebody like Drew hang around. You know, I don't def- think Mike. Champion. I don't think we asked you who you got in this match. Are you taking Mike or Bob? Drew. Uh, Bob. uh yeah, Drew. Uh, or Bob. <laughs> I'd like to take myself, but uh, I, 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 I'm, think, I'm thinking Drew here. He's been playing well. Bob's been, Bob's been kind of grinding most of the day, so um, right. you know he's, he's kind of kind of been struggling to find his rhythm a little bit. Um, so I'm, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Drew here. Well, it's always good to keep it in the family, the North Carolina Coop family. Yeah. You guys are a bunch of homers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right, there's seven with so, three. Yeah, what was that, three? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yes. I got two shots of this eight. Oh. But remember, best of three, so it's not like it's over if he yeah. closes it out here. You know, Drew just needs to come out hot in game two if he if he loses game one here. We'll see if it happens. Yeah, I got to tell you. Oh, Woo! Well, that's it. There we yeah, go. Down on the coffin on that one. Yeah, I got to tell you, Drew looks like, to me, we've seen him in a couple matches so far. I think he's been struggling with his blasting today. Um, hasn't been hitting with much power and um, throwing a little short. And then throwing him a little long, too. So he's going to need to clean up that that drilling if he wants to hang on here. But there you go. I don't care what you do. At 1.7 and 63, hey, boy, you're going to have to do a lot. 1.3 and 43. Bad. Yeah, it's not a no, bad. It's not a bad a good... game, but against 1.7 and 63, yeah, that's uh, that's some tough sledding right there. So mm-hmm. we'll switch up sides. Um, now Drew's got to win two. Bob's got to win one. I believe that's the way best two out of three works. Yep. Um, yep. So Bob's while we're uphill on this, up uphill and into the wind on this on this round. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you guys like if 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 you have the chance to be wind at your back or wind at your face? What do you take? Back wind all day. Back. All yeah. day. I agree with that as well. See, just shorted that one. 
<laughs> this, 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 it's kind of weird this year because this this year th- the pitchers are kind of set up the same, but um, typically we have a crosswind here, and here mm-hmm. you're playing into a headwind. So it's it's been a little bit different this year. Conditions have been kind of changing as the days gone on, which is which is pretty typical for for North Carolina. Um, but uh, it's definitely a different match in the afternoon than it is in the morning. Yeah. Drew's got a big chance here to yeah. jump up to an early lead. Bob went oh for two. Drew. Drew's got never, four in hand. Yeah, never want to do that. You know, he left the door wide open. See if he gets a Sferky here. Oh, there's one. There you go. Sferky, that would be. There's the he knocked oh, there's off. Two. There's a Sven loaf in hand. Yeah, he's got the Sven loaf in hand. Let's see what he's gonna do now. <laughs> see if he locks in the Sferky. Oh, he's, oh, it is a Sferky. Oh. He's cooking up some Sferky. He's looking for whatever four in a row is. I don't even four. know. We yeah, don't have don't... a term for that. Let's. No, oh, he down. gets it. Wow. It's a super turkey. Woo! What is going on? <laughs> super <laughs> turkey just took off. Oh, my mind is blown. A super turkey. A well, super turkey. Talk about a hole. Yeah, boy, go four for four to start out. That's yeah. something else. And at this point, you know, I, you're looking at. I mean, we've been here before, as far as seeing this recently. I mean, this happened to Bob in the PA Championship final, and I commentated that one with Drew. But um, you know, he's got to, he's got to get like three or four of this turn to even have a chance and that that drill is not gonna get you you, you really want a four with one you're not getting a four with one on that fortunate be fortunate to get uh, a two i said two for sure yeah i, 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 I would say three two maybe three i'd say two is two is doing pretty well for yourself yeah, he's doing this chris rock pace back there trying to figure this one out because he's you know, he's like look there's almost no way he's getting it in one obviously but wants to try to get this triple didn't get it. No, I was oh, gonna. Yeah, I bet it's a big angle trying to make sure he gets the single, but maybe get a shot at the double, but probably not gonna happen with that blocker right there. Yep. yep. Still, all right. You get. You still got three shots. You you got to go three for three. Well, you got to hit this one first, but then you got to go three for three. Looks like he's got a bit of junk in the front. Mm-hmm. He's got a coup baton. I got it. There's three. So he's got chance for a legit uh, meatloaf here. Yeah, but anything short of a turkey, he's in trouble. Yeah. And there's – it needs to happen now because you know, he, he, Drew, Drew is, like, licking his chops on a two-turner here. Yeah. You know, because you go, you go four for four. I mean, that's a powerful position to be in, especially when the, the your opponent's baseline full. Well, and you just – I, I would imagine he probably wants his hands back on those batons right now. Go ahead, do whatever you're going to do. Just get them back in my hands because I'm hot, baby. Oh, shoot. This isn't good. So now this is a must hit. I mean, if you don't hit this one, this is over. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Right. If he doesn't hit this shot, it is over. Two turns. Oh. Right. Eat it. So right, so five in play. Mm-hmm. So this is certainly manageable. Uh, this is more than manageable. Now, Mike, this this game might bring back some memories for you. Uh, Spring Fling, what, two years ago or something, Drew and his partner um, took mm-hmm. out you guys, went oh, yeah. six for six. Yep. That was East Coast Championship, actually. Oh, was it East Coast? Yeah. yeah. That was East Coast, yeah. Yeah, we went, we opened 0-4. Well, no, you guys opened 0-2. We opened 0-4, and then you guys went six for six, and we went back. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good over. time. There was a, uh, was a good... there was definitely a, uh, a, a, a rise went through the field when that happened. You could, you could <laughs> hear it happen. <laughs> it, was, it, was it was amazing. funny because it's like those moments are horrible because there's nothing you can do. Yeah. And you're kind of, you're, you're baffled by it, but then you're excited for your opponent too, because I mean, those turns don't come along all the time. You know, well, you, no. you know, you know what you could have done, Mike? Hit something in your turn with four. That's what you could have done. <laughs> I could have. That, that would have gone against the Nick Bartlett strategy of Coob that day. Okay. <laughs> Which is just, just, just outlast your opponent until they make a mistake. Yeah, well, 
that strategy is becoming less and less effective as everyone gets better and better and better. Yes. I see a lot less big. lines. Yeah, Drew not yeah. working with his best drill right here. No. So that's a potential. Like best lifeline. case, there's a three and a two. Yeah, potential lifeline here for Bob. Just the fact that he splashed a couple out there. Um, let's see what he does on this one. He's he's gonna he's gonna look at everything at this point because he's like I'm barely breathing. He's barely holding on to this thing. Uh, you might as well you might as well let True's hand get a little cold too. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's not. There might be a triple there somewhere, but. He... Yeah, he's got to hit this shot perfect. Uh, Double. St oh, and he sent one back there. Yeah, he did. That could be an issue. We saw that with um, Bob and Lee. Oh, nice, nice double. double. That was a saw really that nice with double. Bob and Lee last round or last match where Bob sent one back there and had a shot to win, but hit it on the first one. All nice. right. So All right. with three, so he's got two chances. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is to go five for five. But even if he misses, he's got one more. Yep. He's got to be feeling it right now, too. Mm hmm. Well, that thing that? scared it. Yeah. <laughs> that thing was close. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh that's, yeah. that's the worst nightmare. That was uh, too. That one looked like it was all over it, and he hit the coob in front. Ouchie. Wow. Well, wonder if he'll take the angle here. Nope. No, nope. he doesn't. doesn't. Look like it. Went right over. Overcorrected. Yeah, update from the silver bracket. Dave Cantwell knocked off Nick Bartlett. Um, so that moves Dave Cantwell into the semifinals of the silver bracket. Mm -hmm. I think we might get a couple he, more. Dave, Dave's caught fire here these last couple rounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. he, he's in the beer zone, I think. <laughs> he's getting close, if not. <laughs> yeah. He his last two, uh, he won his match in round four and five, um, lost in the quarterfinals, and then knocked off Nick in the uh, in the silver bracket. Mm -hmm. All right, this is do or die time for Bob. Yeah, he he's going to need to pick up at some least pace. three, at least three. He's got to even this up. Write meow, and there's there's really no way around did it. You, did you just say write meow? I did. <laughs> Is that, is I'm a big that a super Swedish saying? I'm a, I'm a big Super Troopers fan, Stu. <laughs> ever, ever see that movie? No. How, how have you never seen I know you're from Norway and all, but yeah, Mike, have you ever it. seen that movie? Do you get the reference or you've never seen it either? No, no. Uh, you guys either. both have homework. you got to watch Super Troopers. Oh, oh look at that. Yep. Yeah, I got the attention span of a gnat. Watching, watching a movie is, is not in the cards for me. Yeah, I know. Uh, an episode it, or two ago, animated. it's not. Uh, an episode or two ago, I know I panned uh, the uh, the Mister Rogers, Rogers movie. Yeah. But the, the Super Troopers is is a is a classic, and you would if you if you if you if you knew that movie at all, you would get the uh, the right meow reference. I'm not going to explain it because it's just it's, it's no point. I just I can't believe you guys both haven't seen it. There's one. Oh, there's one. Four for four here would be a super turkey and also would be massive. But right now he's looking for at least a Sven loaf. He really needs three out of four. Negative Ghost Rider. Still has another shot at a Sven loaf. Still can right get here. a Sven loaf. Needs these two. These are. Do you, do you agree? These are these are must hits. Like I, I, I think there's at least one. Um, you know, like I said after the first game, I said you know Drew's blasting hasn't been great, hasn't been delivering. There's one, another one. That loaf hasn't been delivering with much power. Ball. Yeah, so seven in play. I don't know that Drew's rattled enough off of that miss. That seven's enough yet. You think so? I mean, uh, he seemed he seemed pretty heartbroken. True. <laughs> Oh, Bob's fired up. <laughs> Three. Three with four. Three out of four. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> production department. Issues. Oh, production logistics. department. There you go. Logistics. Logistics. Well, what happened to Lee? Someone shot Lee. <laughs> Lee's dead. Oh, Nick, no. Nick took him out. Oh, oh no. Present day to the rescue. <laughs> oh, he's dead. Chest compressions. <laughs> oh, mouth to mouth. <laughs> Oh, here comes Brian. Brian's oh, going to jump on him. <laughs> <laughs> we almost oh. lost an, an OG over there. That's Ooh. right. That would have been bad. Good thing yeah. Dave knows mouth to mouth. <laughs> because, uh, uh, because there's a little of everything. And everyone. Uh, yep. We got eight in play. Evened it up. Made this a game. Came back from the dead. Yeah, what is this? The turn. Uh, this is turn. This is turn three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Eight in play after th- uh, uh, to start turn three. Yeah, you get eight in play. I guess two after turns. Three. You are you are playing some cube right there. Yeah. Especially off of you look at look at Bob's first two turns. I mean, what was he one for five, or one first, for four? Yeah, first two turns. Uh, I can't remember. Three yeah. Throws. Yeah. Yeah. First was 0 for 2 because you went, or Drew went 4 for 4. And then the next one was either 1 out of 3 or 1 out of 4. I, I think it was 1 out of 3. I think, yeah. I think he's 1 out of 5, which is before that 3 out of 4. So 3 out of 4 saved it. But oh. he had 8 in play with those first two turns being so bad. This is Drew's turn 3. Drew's so Bob's throwing, already had 3. Drew's been throwing a lot of goofy cuts lately. So. That stack on the on the baseline there is kind of to turn him to kind of go back to his normal, or his or his earlier throw, which is or that regular cut. So mm-hmm. I don't know he's been practicing it as much. Yeah, the goofy cut. Um, I, I think we mentioned it before. Uh, one of the earlier episodes kind of started playing with it at the East Coast last year, um, and has just been doing it more and more. I think it, it, he what he needs to work on is getting his first or two kind of lined up at on the on the end line there and then goofy cut it into him is, is what he's been was what the thinking is well, you know it doesn't always this was not way. not the time that you want to throw a penalty either so no. he should have had him in two turns now and he's in turn three threw a penalty Whew, nice shot there though nice blast nice shot. was that four looked like at least four might have been four yeah, four, and then this is all right. Go. Nope. And he's got. Yeah, so got. So he's still in the red zone. He's just got to yeah. go perfect. Got seven with three. That's good. Seven with three. But if he had this in the group, he could have maybe got eight with three. Yeah. Which would put him in a great position to win. Uh, all right. Bob gets another turn. Oh no. What's the strategy with taking the angle here aside from the straight? A um, little more, little more cube to look at. That's what I've been told. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what I always do. I like to do as well. You get basically the shot isn't much longer, and you get up to twenty percent more cube to shoot at. So when you're as mediocre at eights as I am, you want to take that twenty percent because you know, yeah, I'll take it every time. Right as well. Yeah, I think the uh, I, I know Drew and I have talked about this before, and he's he said it just fits his eye better, a L- little more to look at, fits his eye a little bit better, and sure. um, yeah, so that that's that's just the the idea, and he'll actually take a pretty good angle on that. You know, if he's throwing at that left hand baseline cube, he usually stands about um, you know mid mid baseline, um, so he takes a pretty good angle there. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's gonna start to the bigger angle you take, obviously, the longer the shot's gonna be. But it's still not that much longer than a straight-on shot. Yeah, and for Bob's, the most part. Oh, there's two rethrows. I was gonna say. So Drew went from going four to four, clinked off of the uh, the coup in front for the win. Now he's got a penalty. Oh. Maybe Bob has a penalty. Yeah, that's that thing rolled. <laughs> yeah, it did. But yeah, no, it looks like other than that penalty, this looks like a fantastic group. But you can't, you don't want to throw penalties here. He had, like, you you always look at like uh, I always think about the, uh, you know, when you ever see in in like football games where they they do like the probability to win. Yeah. You know, Drew goes four for four there with Bob baseline full. You had to you had to figure it was probably ninety five plus percent wins there. 
Yeah. <laughs> and, now, and now all of a sudden it is. It's like <laughs> yeah. it was probably 50 50, all the way down to 50 50 once Bob had the big turn. Now, I, you know, I don't know, but it's crazy the way this has turned. Look at that. Oh, nasty. Nice Seven clear. with one. That's a nasty blasty sponsored by the Spring Fling. Speaking of Spring <laughs> Fling, right. Mike, Mike, you got the Spring Fling coming up. Yeah, it's coming up here shortly, March 26th in Davidson, North Carolina. Uh, registration's open. It's a two-person minimum team. Uh, we got a bunch of singles this year looking for teams. So, um, you know, if you if you got guys that, that you know, want to come out, don't really have a, have a teammate, we've got some decent players out there uh, that are looking for a team. Um, you know, hopefully they'll cut the grass this year. I mean, we won't have six inches of rain the day before. I mean, that'd be a, that'd be a good thing this year. That's always a plus. You know? Yeah, that was. It was a little. It was a little, lar- it was a little tall last year. Like, uh, you know, I thought. I thought we lost Matt Green. To oh. Help oh. What was that, Mike? <laughs> Say that one again. We. we, I, said, uh, I, we I said I thought we lost Matt Green a couple times, but I could hear him good. <laughs> I knew we were bad. Oh, he's gonna love that. <laughs> oh, that's my guy, man. Oh, he and Matt go back and forth quite a bit. By the way, Bob Bob was uh, just in the red zone. Dude, that fle- that like, first coop, how'd that not go down? Yeah, he like fully. Day. Oh, there he knocked okay. it down. I was gonna I say that he fully assaulted the coop on the first baton, and it didn't go down. Um, but now, how about this? Drew starts four for four, and now all of a sudden he's losing. There was that. That was an instance where if he. Well, still, he got eight with three with a penalty. If he doesn't throw that penalty, he probably is an eight with one if he sticks that in there. And it, he's out. He's, he's done with this game. That's that's an instance oh, where the – oh, he's rescuing. Uh, you think he's – so what do you guys think about this call? Would you do uh, it? I I always this think is this is pretty – that... Oh, he, oh he, he got it. He got it. It's still in bounds. Oh, it's still in. <laughs> oh, I, I always look at this like it just depends. Like if you can, he hit it on the first shot. Like that's great. He just didn't quite get enough of it to push it out, and, and now he's trying to push it down, Coob out. So it's like, oh man, oh, it's a tough oh. shot. Boy, the wheels talk about wheels coming off. Boy, yeah. I think he's I, gonna give up on this one here and just kind of throw his group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what it looks like. I've seen some over the years successful rescues i've seen other rescues that just end up just digging the hole deeper and just end up looking like complete like acts of desperation so you know it's not i don't think it's a bad call if you could if you could pull it off i mean you much better off with that cube in the group especially with nine in play um but he looks like he's still he looks like he hasn't made up his mind yeah, no, it's a. Yeah, yep, he's going. Now he's got three rethrows, and the last thing yep. he wants to do is throw another penalty too. Yeah. But uh, that's a tough break. I mean, he he hit that thing solid enough that it, you would have thought it would gone out of bounds. It's hard to tell from here how far up it was. It will, like if that coop's sitting on, if if somebody puts one at eight meters right on the line, sure, rescue it. All you got to do is hit it. It's going to be out most likely. Yeah. But like. You know, there's no way. It's probably somewhere around seven, seven and a half meters. Um, is Mike, what do you guesses. think of the call? What do you think about the call? Would you would you have tried I to think rescue? It was gutsy. I, I don't practice it, so I just take my licking. I mean, if it's seven and a half, I'll just throw an eight from a half meter behind the base. You know, that just eight, yep. eights are kind of my thing. So, yeah. Um, I, I think it's a gutsy call, and it would have been. You know, great had it worked out, but yeah, you know, here we are. Yeah, I think he's probably thinking, you know, hey, look, I started four for four. Um, obviously, when that went out of his sails on the his next turn when it clinked off of the uh, coob in front, and now all of a sudden he's down with a penalty. He's probably just trying to make something happen. Um, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get the call. I get not doing it. Uh, you know, I get it. It's one of those ones that if it works, it works out, especially early on. Like you get it in the first shot, you look like. <laughs> yeah, so I just said it. I just swore. Thanks, Mike. It's all your well, fault. <laughs> post production. Post post production will work on that. Yeah. I have such a foul mouth. Like I don't even know what to do anymore. 
can't control it. <laughs> but you, you, this I think how many times I don't know how many of these I've done. I haven't sworn once. You get David's on here. Next thing you know, I'm a sailor. Um, but uh, You're so if if you get it early, you get it quick. You know, you you look like a genius. You you know, it's like it's like when when uh, you know, in like in like football, when if somebody you fake a punt or something, yeah. you do you do yeah. that onside yeah. kick unexpectedly and it works. You look you look like a genius if it works. If if it doesn't, you're like eh. Oh well. well. Now he's now he's staring straight at an advantage line. It, it definitely feels like the wind is out of his sails, and he's mm-hmm. just kind of probably still thinking about that shot on his second turn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, this one is over. Yeah, that's a, it's a, that was a tough, that's tough. Because, you know, like, like we said, Drew, Drew had this game and, and he had it. And so we, we should have been in game three after that open. And it's amazing that somehow, and that we're, that we're here with an advantage line yep. here in, in turn. This is turn five for Bob, but. Um, well, and it, what, what, what turned it was, Bob's just started knocking them down from eight and just getting more cubes in play. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, a bit, a bit heartbreaking on this one for Drew, I would say. I, I would agree. I think, like, and the other thing, he's, too. He's so peeved, he's just going to block the camera. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what he does, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> I told you, he's a jerk. So. <laughs> totally. He keeps saying it, but... You know, yeah. I've, I've spent a good so bit of time with One of these days, people are going to start great. believing me. <laughs> they might. You know, watch out. Keep throwing him under the bus like that. He's gonna, he's gonna send you back to Norway. <laughs> he's to ship you back on that craft. cruise ship. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So. All right. So assuming, assuming Bob well, wins it here, that's going to put him in the finals. I'm going to go ahead and say this one is over. Yeah. Baseline clear. Uh, it, it, to not clear this, even it doesn't even look like a great group, but to not clear it in five would be an absolute train wreck. So, yeah, so I, I don't would, see that, that happening. That would put Bob in the finals. Bob would be looking to get his name on the shovel for the second time. Mike, does uh, does anybody else have their sho- name on the shovel twice? Mike, uh, Ro- Mike yeah. Roberts? Michael Roberts. Yeah. Yep, yes. Yeah. He won it two years in a row in uh, 16 and 17, I think. Yeah. So, there's, a, there's another um, guy that... Uh, Luckily, we're lucky he wasn't at the spring fling last year with that tall grass. We'd have lost him. Maybe that's where we did lose him. <laughs> Has anyone seen him since? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. He played. He played it as in this tournament uh, twenty twenty years ago. Yeah, twenty twenty. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Twenty twenty. That's the last time that. That's. I think he retired. I think he hung up his jersey. Mm. Oh. Yeah. But uh, didn't yeah, even yeah, stick he, around he, for he the jersey awesome. retirement ceremony. No, no, he didn't. Own Das Cube number seven, retired. Mm. No one else can have it. Uh, that's unfortunate. No, he's one of the founding members of Das Cube, so. Yeah. Uh, love me some Robert, though. He's my guy. He's mm-hmm. a character. Uh, yes. All right, so here goes Bob looking <laughs> to end it. Bob with two two batons to end it and move on to the finals. Trick shot. Yeah. Uh, nope. No All trick right. shot. Game over. Yes, Woo. that was uh, that was a solid match there. Both games. Uh, yeah, felt like uh, you know Bob was lights out. One point eight and fifty three. Boy, that is solid. Drew one point three and fifty percent. Can't really complain. That would have won no. uh, nah, just not. about all the just games out here today. Through, right? Yeah, you got yeah. you got to wonder with with that performance for Drew. You know, a different matchup in the semis, maybe. Maybe he gets the final. Hey, Mike? Yep. <laughs> Agree? Hey, maybe. <laughs> so, Mike, uh, oh, so here's the update on the Silver Bracket semifinals. Jeremy against Dave and Bryant against Lee. Real nice showing by Bryant there. Um, yeah, so next week, Mike, we're going to have you playing Dan Corey in the other semifinal. Good luck to you. Good luck to Dan. We wish luck to everybody. A couple of North Carolina players. It's a... Uh, it's a Queen City coup versus Raleigh coup battle. Um, yeah. yeah, so we bring that'll be next. Cup. What was that? When we bring him back. To, when we bring him back to the uh, Carolina Cup? Are you just retiring that thing? Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask Drew. This is uh, this is his cousin Stu. Um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll I'll send a message to Drew. See what he has well, to what, say why, about why it. Why don't you talk to him? 
I'll, I'll talk to him. I, I think he, I think he told me the uh, Carolina Cup is in his garage. So uh, we'll see if he can find it in there. Um, yeah, we might have to resurrect <laughs> that. My so. too. Yeah, I, I never um, understood the Carolina Cup. Actually, I, it, just, it always was a mystery to me. It's actually how that thing works. But uh, it's a long story. It yeah. was supposed to be like the Ryder Cup, but <laughs> okay. you know we kind of forgot about it. So. Or they, they kind of forgot about it. Um, yeah. yeah, so I think that's it. So, Mike, thanks for joining us. Thanks for putting on an awesome tournament. And oh. we look forward to the spring fling here uh, in March. Um, everybody get out there and sign up. The weather should be usually about 80 degrees, upper 70s, 80 degrees um, by that time. Yeah, gorgeous. yeah it's usually just Beauty gorgeous night. before. Yeah, before all the humidity and whatever kicks in, so it should be fantastic. It's the so, end of the Southern Swing. So It's the yeah. end of the Southern Swing and the second stop on the 2021 Atlantic. 2022. Wrong oh, year. yeah. Wrong year, Stu. I've been, I've been doing How long that. are you on that well, boat? I'm, <laughs> I'm on the Nordic calendar. I can look at, yeah. The whole counting thing runs in the family. So. You think? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, Mike, thanks again. All right. Sven. You got anything else thanks to say? Me. No, it was yep. a great match. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks, Mike, for coming on and getting me to swear. I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, no, it was a great match. Well, looking forward to seeing you on the in the in the semifinal against Dan Corey there. Uh, there, Mike. Good luck. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. All right, that's it then. Bazooka. Bazooka. Mike, you don't want a bazooka. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>